Matit Yahu, Matthew 17. And after six days, Yahusha takes Kepha, Yaachov, and Yahuchanan, his brother, and brings them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moshe and Eliyahu, talking with him. Then answered Kepha and said unto Yahusha, Adonai, it is good for us to be here. If you will, let us make here three kukov, one for you and one for Moshe and one for Eliyahu. While he yet spoke, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my Yahid, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And when the Talmudim heard it, they fell on their face and were sore afraid. And Yahusha came and touched them and said, Arise, be not afraid. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man, save Yahusha only. And as they came down from the mountain, Yahusha charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man, until the son of Adam be risen again from the dead. And his Talmudim asked him, saying, why then say the scribes that Eliyahu must come first, rather must first come? And Yahusha answered and said unto them, Eliyahu truly shall come first, and restore all things. But I say unto you that Eliyahu is come already, and they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they willed. Likewise shall also the son of Adam suffer of them. Then the Talmudim understood that he spoke unto them of Yahuchanan, the immerser. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him, and saying, Adonai, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and sore vexed, for oft times he falls into the fire and oft into the water. And I brought him to your Talmudim, and they could not cure him. Then Yahusha answered and said, O oh, faithless and perverse nation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Yahusha rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the Talmudim to Yahusha apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Yahusha said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For Amen, I say unto you, If ye have belief as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit this kind goes not out but by prayer and fasting. And while they abode in Galil, Yahusha said unto them, The son of Adam shall be betrayed into the hands of men, and they shall kill him, and the third day he shall be raised again. And they were exceeding sorry. And when they were come to Kafarnachum, they that received tribute money came to Kepha and said, Does not your master pay tribute? He said, Yes. And when he was come into the house, Yahusha prevented him, saying, What do you think, Shimon? Of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute? Of their own children or of strangers? 
Kepha said unto him, Of strangers. Yahusha said unto him, Then are the children free. Notwithstanding, lest we should offend them, go to the sea and cast a hook and take up the fish that first comes up. And when you have opened his mouth, you shall find a piece of money. That take and give unto them for me and you.